most fun that I have is when I bring together groups of scientists, that's trainees, people in their graduate school, uh, medical school, all the way through to colleagues uh, developing their careers or even senior uh, collaborators, getting everyone in a room together, bringing their different disciplinary expertise together and trying to see if we can attack an important problem together uh, with our collective expertise where the whole is clearly greater than the sum of its parts. I'm a neuropsychologist uh, by training and my, my entry into this work was basically uh, testing patients uh, many years ago who would be unable to remember shopping lists and story passages or solve other uh, relatively simple problems and I always wondered why that's happening. So that led me into brain imaging using advanced technologies like magnetic resonance imaging or positron emission tomography as a window into the brain to try to understand why patients would fail memory tests and other kinds of uh, cognitive tasks. So today we're studying multiple diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, other colleagues are studying uh, schizophrenia, we have projects uh, in the center more broadly in the addictions, uh, others looking at the cognitive effects of cancer chemotherapy, uh, and much more, everything from uh, children through to uh, older adults. And uh, we're using this information to try to understand more about what brain functions and circuits are disrupted and thinking constantly about how this information might translate into personalized medicine, designing personalized diagnostics and treatment plans for patients.